This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Hello, hello, hello. Today we're going to be making a crosscut sled for the table saw. Now, about two years ago, I built this crosscut sled slash box joint jig uh, for my then DeWalt saw, so it was a smaller saw. And as you can see, the jig is quite small. This thing has like a, a removable box joint jig addition on it. So you can either use it as a crosscut sled or you can add the addition. But I have found that um, I tend to leave the addition on and mostly use it as a box joint jig. Because when you remove it back and forth, it kind of messes up the alignment a little bit. Um, and it's just kind of annoying. So what I really would like is just a larger dedicated crosscut sled. I want it to be yeah, bigger and wider so that it can handle uh, like bigger pieces of wood. And I would also like a, an adjustable stop block with a measuring tape because that's a feature I found uh, that is, you, know, you just tend to use a lot for repeated cuts and just be able to move it. So Matt been working on doing all the cuts. First of all the main board, this is half inch Baltic birch and all the measurements are in the description. Next up the runners, and this is Cameroon, you definitely want to use some sort of hardwood because the runners get a lot of stress over time. trying to get a really nice tight fit here, so sending them down a little to make them perfect instead of cutting too generously in the first place. So marking out where the runners are going to go on the board. For the back fence, I thought it would be nice with a bit of a curve, and that's mostly just to make it a little lighter. Then gluing on the back piece, not the front piece though, uh, that's not going to be glued in. I want to make sure it's perfectly straight in relation to the blade. And since this side is going to slide on the saw, it's nice to make sure no screws are protruding at all by countersinking first. Marking out where the runners will go and pre-drilling holes. So now I can put glue on the runners, add the plywood and screw down through the pre-drilled holes. And uh, just using some of my mineral oil wax polish here with some sandpaper to make sure the sled glides nice and smoothly. Of course making sure the blade is absolutely straight in relation to the fence, so just making a few adjustments to make it perfect. And this is just a block of wood to protect you from the blade.
So next the adjustable stop lock and routing through the fence here. And just using the knob that we had on hand, but you could make your own if you wanted. And lastly, the measuring tape. So here is the new sled, and as you can see, definitely a, a pretty large sled, especially if I compare it to this one. <laughs> this looks like a little baby version in comparison, which is great for a smaller saw. Uh, but now when I have this, uh, this larger saw and just more space, it's really nice to just have something um, that is more uh, sturdy and more stable and I could really fit a large piece of wood here something quite wide if I wanted to. Now one of my favorite features on here is the stop block. I mean it is such a simple concept but it is something that you just use all the time and since it has the measuring tape here it's so easy to just put it on exactly what you need it to do and that way you can just make your cuts. So of course this is a pretty simple and straightforward sled and of course you could alter it to fit your specific table saw uh, with make sure the runners fit perfectly and then the size as well. Um, and of course I am outside, this is an outdoor shop, uh, so I make sure to protect my sleds, that's what I do with all my sleds, with uh, shellac or, or polyurethane or something. Um, and I'm probably going to put on uh, a couple more coats on here just to protect it over time. So this video is brought to you by Squarespace, which is really cool because I personally have been using them for my website and I really like the way it works. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to make their next move known to the world. So if you're thinking about showcasing your work, or maybe you want to sell something and start a business, or you just like to make a really cool looking website, Squarespace is a great choice. They got a ton of templates to choose between, and their e-commerce system works really nicely. As you know, I sell my wax polishes, and I use their system and it's really easy to keep track of everything. It's also good to know that they offer 24 seven customer support. So if you had any questions along the way, that's great. So you can start your free trial today at squarespace.com and go to squarespace.com slash Darbin Orver to get 10% off your first purchase. Let me know what you guys think about this build in the comments below. If you have any questions, any thoughts, um, also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that little notification bell so that you get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you guys so much for watching um, and I'll see you soon. Bye.